So I don't know what I'm going to be titling this video, so hi to whatever it's titled to, I guess. Um, it's going to be about the hero back here. Um, so um, I'm going to start, I guess, with a little bit about the hero and then why I decided to get one. I do have a little thing that I've written down here um, to try to help me out because I struggle kind of making a video make sense. So hopefully this helps me. I am also very out of breath like I normally am, so I apologize about that. So Hero is a subscription-based medication management system. There is an initial fee that's $100, and there's a, a monthly subscription to it, which is $29.99. When I ordered this, there was a discount code. I used, um, I think it was AUG70, um, all capital letters. And I could be wrong. Definitely go check my um, Instagram. But um, tomorrow is September, so I'm pretty sure that's probably not going to work anymore. They are doing a summer sale though, so I don't know how long that's going to be going and that's like, it gives you $50 off and it's automatically applied when you check out. So you are able to return this whenever you want to. Um, you do initially get a 30 day trial and after that you are locked into a year long contract. And so even, you can return it during that year long contract. The only kind of like thing is though that let's say I kept it for two months and then decided to return it. The rest of the months that I was in the contract, they would charge me um, for all of those months at one, at one at once, I believe. Don't know why I can't talk. So there is that. Um, with the the subscription, you get the Hero device. Um, you get twenty four seven customer service. Which, by the way, uh, I've used their customer service once so far. I asked them it, um, where my package was, basically, because I was under the impression that I would get a, a, a shipped email, and I never did. And so I messaged them, and within 10 minutes, they contacted me. And this is, like, at 5 a.m. So, to me, that's, like, be beyond, like, amazing. You also can get a service called Hero Fill. It's a uh, service that I believe is included with the membership. And you don't have to pay anything extra. They work with your insurance company and somehow it ships your medications to you automatically when they're um, needed. I think it even, I could be wrong by this, but I think they even contact your doctors or something maybe. Or maybe your insurance or something. Anyway, it's like a, a shipment for your medications, which um, might be something I want to do. I couldn't do it with all medications because um, some of my medications are adjusted by month, even by week at times. Um, but it would work with, um, like my, probably my nausea medication, for instance. Um, so important stuff to note that I haven't heard anybody talk about. Um, it's not airtight. I have medication that needs to be airtight. And this thing is not airtight, which kind of sucks. I, I had any critique right now about this thing. It would be that it should be airtight. Um, which that might be difficult. I don't even know if it's possible because I don't understand the mechanics about the machine. But if it's possible, definitely, like, try to make this airtight um no half pills the only way you can get around that is if you put the half pills in like a um one of those gelatin or veggie capsules um and that's because it messes with like the air pump or something um um scheduled meds can be only dispensed up to four hours after a scheduled dose which i understand that um why that's a thing but i thought that was important to know um, editing and actually after I set it up and did everything after making this video I realized that you can actually take it up to 24 hours after um, it's scheduled. It only holds 10 medications and 10 out of the, out of the machine. Um, so the, the app holds 10 and um, the machine will hold 10. Um, so if you have like I have an ammo vague shot that I give myself. I store that in the refrigerator. I obviously can't put it in the machine so the app will still tell me to take the shot. Um, I wonder, I don't know if the machine will, but I know the app will. I will let you know if the machine actually reminds me to. That would be really cool. Because one of the main reasons I wanted to get this is because it's an actual physical device that's going to be like beeping at me to do something. Um, I get so many notifications on my phone that they're kind of like, um, I don't know the word, uh, desensitized or something to them. And, um, and I kind of ignore them without legitimately deciding to ignore them. Okay, so I guess I'm going to talk about why I decided to get one. So, um, I have a huge difficulty managing my medications with brain fog and just um, executive dysfunction, my sleep schedule. Um, I guess cognitive stuff is in part of brain fog. Um, 
but I just have a huge challenge about it. I personally probably need someone to sit there and like physically give me my medication and tell me to take it. But because I don't have that, we went with this. And I think this is going to be the next best thing. Um, it will notify a caregiver that I choose. I think you can choose multiple caregivers to um, say, hey, she missed a dose or whatever it may be. Um, so there's that. And another big thing is um, I talked about it in a previous video. Um, I don't know what it's titled. I'll try to like maybe um, put it up here or something. Um, but in April of this year, I accidentally took way too much medication. I started using a bullet journal this year to try to track my symptoms, medications, and when I took it. And I was, um, somebody in the comments put it beautifully that, um, I can't remember what it was called. Let me go see if I can find what they said. Okay, so they basically explained it that I was taking it based on my internal calendar. So what that means is sometimes I wake up several times in one day. Sometimes I can sleep through days. So um, if I was waking up um, two times a day, then I was taking two doses of medications. So, um, and a lot of my medications are for heart stuff. Um, I ended up having to discontinue one medication because the... Um, repercussions of doing that were so bad that I just cannot be on it anymore which really sucks and um so there's some days I was taking two there's taking some days I think I might have accidentally took three and other days I think I took uh probably one and some days I just completely full on missed it um so I have a huge issue with medication management hey baby boy you're very cute but let's keep the windows closed okay so, um, this device will keep me from dispensing extra medications and it will make a noise when it's time to, to take my medicine. So I'm hoping that, um, the plan right now first is to take it based on when it rings and if that doesn't work and I just won't wake up, then I will continuously change the time that it's dis supposed to dispense and will use my bullet journal to make sure I don't overdose myself and the way that I do that is um the way I'm still working on this but the way I do that is I take my medication based on a 24 hour period so let's say I took it at 12 and it's in four hours so I draw a line till four hours to when the medication like I can't think of a better word but expires and stops working and then when I can take it again like say it's a mass needed medication or say if I take Adderall that's a 24 hour medication so I draw it all the way till 24 hours and I know when that line stops and I can take it again so whatever my sleep schedule is I might miss some medication and not take it as regularly as I'd like but I won't overdose myself and so we're at the place of like it's better to, to miss a few medications than overdose yourself so I don't know exactly how I'm going to be using this device yet but it will keep me at least from accidentally killing myself which is amazing so yeah on top of making no making noise it'll send a notification to my phone and it does, um, what do you call it? Snoozes. So it's not like it's not like an alarm clock where you snooze it. It snoozes by itself, basically, and will remind you. I think the lady told me every 10 minutes for up to four hours. I could be wrong. I'm definitely going to try to um, let you know how it goes, though. Um, I want to try to film myself um, taking it every morning because I'm on a semi schedule where I'm up during the day right now. Um, and so I might be able to do it. But I don't know how tired and groggy I will feel and if I'll remember. Uh, but I looked at a bunch of medication management systems and this one seems to be the best thing for me. It's not something I can lose. It's small and it's something that will notify a caregiver and it has an app and so far amazing customer service. Um, the only downside is it is a monthly subscription but I'd rather pay a monthly subscription than pay thousands of dollars for a machine um, and then it break and then have to buy another one or be out of luck. Um, another thing is I would not be able to afford a thousand dollar machine. I would just just not do it. So the monthly subscription kind of gives me access to it. So, but yeah, that's why I decided to get one. And so I'll let you know how it goes.